From drinking straws to shopping bags, plenty of single-use plastics are being phased out under state government bans right across the nation. Still more than three quarters of rubbish piling up in our waterways is plastic. Let's bring in now Phil Harrison. He's CEO of Conservation Volunteers Australia. Phil, great to see you. This research out today is concerning more than three quarters of the litter in our waterways being plastic, despite those bans that I referred to in the introduction. You're exactly right. Uh, over the last three years, we've worked with communities across Australia and been able to collect and analyse over 400,000 individual pieces of debris in our waterways and in our oceans. And yes, over three quarters of that is plastic. Now, the good news is that where we're taking action, such as the bans you referred to, we see those items being diminishing in their contribution. But there are lots of other offenders that we have in our own homes, and we need to take action now to stop this. So when you say take action, what can Australians do to help drive that, that amount down, that amount of plastic that is really clogging up our waterways? Well, it's very simple in, in many ways because uh, we found that the, the major offenders are things as everyday as bottle caps, bottles and plastic food wrapping. We all have that in our homes. So we're encouraging people to take an at-home waste audit. We've worked with our friends and colleagues at the CSIRO to build an at-home waste audit that people will be able to get onto and get a simple snapshot of what is our contribution and what can we do, it, do about it as a family in our own home. If we all take those individual actions, well, we're making a great start. And then if that can be complemented by action by government, by our corporate leaders, then perhaps we can get on top of this. That is great advice and an at-home audit. Have you got any other tips on how people might be able to do that? Is it basically going to those things like plastic bottles, reuse, reusable bottles and just phase out that sort of thing? What, have you got any other tips that you can give our viewers? I think the, the chief tip that we should all take on board is being much more intentional about the choices we make. We've all seen how we've been able to cooperate and accommodate the bans, for example, on things as, as what were as every day as plastic bags in our supermarket shopping. And now we all choose to yeah. use the green bags and we're making a great difference. Well, let's do something similar. Let's make intentional, simple choices about what it is we put into our homes, what we're using on the day to day. Use those recyclable things, those things you can recycle and reuse time and again. Use the takeaway cups rather than the take, ta rather yeah. than the takeaway cups. Use your keep cup, for example. But there are many other things we can all do, and I'm sure people will understand how that can be applied in their own situation. Well, Phil Harrison. CEO of Conservation Volunteers Australia. Great to speak to you and to get your thoughts on that research today. Thanks so much.